It was a horrific video of abuse that went viral. A young man put in a local nursing home at the beginning of the pandemic physically assaults his elderly roommate. Well, two years later, we learned the criminal case was actually dismissed. Let's get right to Fox News. Randy Wimbley, he's live with reaction. Randy. Hey guys, the victim's family declined to comment. More on that in a moment. J. Don Hayden was deemed incompetent to stand trial. His father says he was diagnosed with autism as a child and schizophrenia years later. Thinking that my son, you know, could go to prison for, for many years, uh, that just put more pressure on me. But once, once uh, the case was dismissed, uh, it really lifted a lot of burden off my shoulders. The man who recorded himself brutally beating 75 year old Norman Bledsoe will not go to trial or face prison time for now. At least the case against Jadon Hayden was dismissed in late April after the 22 year old was deemed incompetent to stand trial. Bledsoe died at another nursing home two months after the attack. His death was not ruled a homicide, but his family told the Detroit News he was not the same after the assault. This elderly man, you know, I want to send out my condolences to his family because, you know, he should still be here. That should have never happened. Marty Hayden is Jadon's father. He okay. says his son suffers from schizophrenia okay. and was living in a group home prior to the beating in May of 2020. Marty says Jadon was moved from the group home to a local hospital to receive mental health treatment. Once they found out he had COVID, they was more interested in trying to quarantine him somewhere. And that somewhere was the Westwood Nursing Center in Detroit, where Hayden shared a room with Bledsoe. And they put him in a, a situation where they pretty much, they set him up for failure. They basically, you know, they didn't care. So he, in my eyes, he never should have been there. Jadon Hayden is now being treated at the Kalamazoo Psychiatric Hospital. The Wayne County Prosecutor's Office released a statement saying in part, the defendant is under the jurisdiction of the probate court. He will receive treatment and his progress is monitored. Should the defendant regain competence, WCPO can recharge the case. The mental state my son is now, he has not gotten much better. And um, I don't foresee him getting any, getting better to the degree to, to stand trial. Now, Norman Bledsoe's family declined to comment because of ongoing litigation. They are suing the Westwood Nursing Center. Westwood declined to comment for this story. As for Marty Hayden, he also wants to take legal action against those responsible for placing his son in the Westwood Nursing Center and without, he says, proper supervision. Reporting live in downtown Detroit, I'm Randy Wembley, and this is The Edge. Yeah, I know that you said that uh, charges won't be coming forth, at least for now. Uh, what are the possibilities that now. could change? Well, depending on his treatment at that uh, psychiatric hospital, if he's brought up to speed, if you will, if he uh, is well enough to stand trial, then there's a very good likelihood that the Wayne County Prosecutor's Office will reissue those charges. But we'll see if that exactly, uh, if that does in fact happen. A sad case all the way around. Randy Wimbley for us live. Thank you.